Hello, and welcome to this week's Wednesday webinar on digital resources. This is Molly Ashoff, and I'm the ESU 8 Digital Learning Coordinator. I'm going to start with resources that are available to you um, either by ESU 8 or ESU CC throughout the state. These resources can be found on the ESU 8 webpage. Some of you have already also linked them to your home pages, and that's wonderful. If you come to the ESU 8 landing page, that's www.esu8.org, and you just scroll down past our picture there to the DL and media resources here. First one I'm going to talk about is the World Book Web. So if you just click on that, got it pulled up right here, this is what you see. We have all these modules in it. And just as a reminder, I know I've given webinars on this before, the early world of learning, everything is read out loud. So for your pre-K, um, you know, your preschool, your kindergarten, first grade, non-readers yet, you can stick in some earphones, put it on, and everything that they... Um, mouse over is read to them. So it has a lot of great early language development, um, reading comprehension, there's games in there. It's great for that. The kids is like your lower elementary encyclopedia. There's also a lot of um, ideas for science and social studies there. The student and the advanced are the world books online, the two levels you can decide there's not a cutoff of what students should use which one. They both work the exact same way. But I want to go in and show you how students can create an account and then save their research to that account, which is really valuable, especially if you want to go paperless and you don't want to just print everything when they're doing research. We'll go in here. You can just start with a search. You can um, come over here and see what's in the headlines, or if you go here, it'll take you into the site. I'm just going to put something into search here. Let's search trees. All right. So I've 1,608 articles, encyclopedia articles on trees. There's maps, there's tables. If I click the more button here, there's the dictionary, there's sounds, images, videos, all of this research has been found for me. So I'm going to look through here and I like this article right here, I think. I'm going to check it out. Once in here, it can be read to me. I can double click a word and it'll define it. Um, there's deciduous, it defines it for me. So I like this article and my teacher said, I cannot print my research, I need to save it. So I'm gonna come over here to my research. And if students haven't created an account, they just go in, they can use an email, that's what I use, they can use just their name, the password can be a number if there's something familiar with them, um, and so then they log in or create a login if they haven't done it before. All right, I am going to create a new project called Trees. Oops. Now, my, let's go back and I'm trying to head to my article. Oh, one more. Here's my article, and now that I'm logged in, I want to save it right here under the wheel, and I can save it as a PDF. I can also save it to my Google Drive. If you're using um, Google Classroom, that's a great thing. Or I'm going to pick my project 
and this one was on trees. Did I not save that? All right, we'll start another one. All right, now let's go here and see where I put it. Oh, here's new project 13. That's the one I wanted to call trees. I must have not saved before. Submit that, and if we look, oh, it already exists. There is my article on deciduous trees. I can add notes to it, I can delete it, I can add books, but this is a great easy way for kids to um, keep their research all in one spot and not have to print and maybe find a lot of articles and then kind of decipher what you're actually going to use when you're doing a research project. So once again, that is in both the World Book Student and World Book Advanced. I'll run through these quick timelines. You can build your own timelines or use the timelines that are created there. Ebooks are primarily nonfiction books that um, you can use. There's also on the, the lower elementary pre-K, there's some that actually are interactive and we'll read to them. Discover is science, social studies, it's a little bit of everything. Dramatic learning is a great place to go in and get some readers theater, some little plays. Early people's social studies, we've got a couple of the modules in Spanish, a couple of them in French. Um, and then down here, we have a science power and a social studies power. These are online science and social studies curriculums. They're already set up. Everything, the vocab, the pretest, all of that is within it. So if you have Chromebooks in your 5th, 6th, 7th grade, these would be excellent for that or any kind of a device. Um, but it's already all in there. You just enroll your students, you build a class, enroll your students, and then they can progress at their own pace. All right, so back to our home page, and that was World Book, and I want to get, click on Snap. Snap will help you search everything that I have, including the tangible kits and stuff for checkout. But once we get logged in, and if you can't remember your login number, it's your building number, um, the first digits are, and the last digits are your identification number. Password should always be orders unless you've changed it. If you are not sure what your number is, just contact the ESU, either myself or Linda Miller Thompson, and she can help you find that. So I'm going to sign in. And I know when I sign in, it doesn't take me to the first home page. It takes me to my overdue checked out items. But this is what you should come to. So if I put trees in here, it's going to search everything, including if I had a kit on trees or something like that. But I just want to look at Learn360. Learn360 is the streaming videos that we provide for you. And you can do a search. You can search advanced search and be more specific. But I'm just going to pull this my plate. I want to show you what it looks like when you get into a video. Here's the video, and it is 27 minutes and 15 seconds long. Well, if I don't want to watch that whole video, I can come over here and it's broken down into segments. Maybe I only want to watch this minute 45 on food and food components to reduce sugar. So then I would just click and, and queue up that part. I also can come over here and make my own segment. Maybe I just want from 2 minutes to 6 minutes, and it's not over here segmented that way. I can create my own. Something about this too, I can share it. I can share it right into Google Classroom. I can email it or I can come up here and get the embed code and put it in my web page or just a link that I can get out to my students. Um, as long as they're in school it's IP recognized so they wouldn't have to log in or anything. If you send them the embed code or the link they would get right to this 
um, video. If you've got special needs students, they also will, you can print a transcript so they could highlight as they're watching or you could highlight the important things for them. All right, the other thing I wanted to show you, I have created a hyperdoc right here with digital resources. So if you go to this Google shortener right here, this goo.gl backslash gm3v uppercase w uppercase t. It is case sensitive. That will take you to this document. All right, you can get snap here. You see those. But I have also kind of broke this out. A lot of this is the world book or the Learn 360, but it's broke out by grade level. So you can check those out. Those are all links. And then I've broken up some digital resources into curricular areas. These are cross-curricular, a little bit for everyone. If you haven't used the teaching channel, that's excellent. Nebraska Access is an amazing resource brought to us by the Nebraska Library Council. And if you are doing research with your students, especially high school students, you really need to be using this. If you want more information on that, there is a webinar previously posted, or I'd be happy to come and show your classes how to access Nebraska Access. So we have social studies over here. Um, there's math, language arts, science. All of your content areas should be covered with some sort of digital resource. Check those out. And if you ever have any questions, remember you can always get a hold of me by calling the ESU or by emailing me at masch at esu8.org.